the sky blue. It's important to know why the sky is blue. Understanding the science behind the blue sky is an important aspect of scientific literacy. It helps people appreciate the natural world and understand how it works, which is essential for making informed decisions about environmental issues. Knowing why the sky is blue can also increase environmental awareness. Understanding how pollutants can affect the appearance of the sky and the distribution of different colors of light in the electromagnetic spectrum can help people appreciate the impact that human activities have on the environment. Knowing why the sky is blue can enhance people's appreciation of nature and the beauty of the world around them. Understanding the science behind this everyday phenomenon can help people appreciate the intricacies of the natural world and the importance of preserving it. Understanding why the sky is blue is also important for scientific advancement. It is a fundamental concept in physics and optics that is used to explain a wide range of natural phenomena from atmospheric optics to the behavior of light in different materials. The blue sky is a universal and timeless symbol of hope, peace, and the beauty of nature. Knowing why it is blue can help people understand the cultural significance of the symbol and how it has been represented in art, literature, and other forms of human expression throughout history. So knowing why the sky is blue is important for scientific literacy, environmental awareness, appreciation of nature, scientific advancement, and cultural significance. It is a fundamental aspect of understanding the world around us and our place in it. Have you ever wondered why the sky is blue? This is a question that has been asked for centuries, and it has a fascinating scientific answer. The blue color of the sky is due to a phenomenon known as Rayleigh scattering. When the sun's light enters the Earth's atmosphere, it encounters tiny particles such as oxygen and nitrogen molecules and other substances like dust and water droplets. Rayleigh scattering is a physical phenomenon that explains why the sky appears blue. It occurs when light interacts with small particles such as nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the Earth's atmosphere. When light from the sun enters the Earth's atmosphere, it encounters these particles and a portion of it gets scattered in different directions. This scattered light reaches our eyes and the sky appears blue to us. Rayleigh scattering is different for different colors of light because of the different wavelengths and frequencies of light. Blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher frequency compared to other colors like red and yellow. This makes blue light more susceptible to scattering, which is why it appears more prominent in the sky. Rayleigh scattering is a result of the interaction between light and small particles in the Earth's atmosphere, which causes blue light to be scattered more than other colors. This is what gives the sky its blue appearance. Light itself is made up of different colors that are part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher frequency compared to other colors like red and yellow. Light is a type of electromagnetic radiation that is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum consists of different types of radiation, including radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, x-rays, and gamma rays. Each type of radiation has a different wavelength and frequency, which determines its properties. In the case of visible light, it consists of different colors, each with its unique wavelength and frequency. The colors of the visible spectrum are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. In that order, each color has a different wavelength and frequency, which affects how it is absorbed, transmitted, and scattered. In the Earth's atmosphere, certain pollutants can have an effect on the electromagnetic spectrum. For example, air pollution, such as smog and industrial emissions, can scatter light, making the sky appear hazy and discolored. Some pollutants can 
also absorb light, reducing the amount of light that reaches the ground. Additionally, certain pollutants such as ozone and nitrogen dioxide can alter the chemistry of the atmosphere and affect the distribution of different colors of light in the electromagnetic spectrum. Each color of light in the electromagnetic spectrum has a unique wavelength and frequency that determines its properties. Certain pollutants in the Earth's atmosphere affect the electromagnetic spectrum by scattering or absorbing light and altering the distribution of different colors of light. When the sun's light encounters these particles in the atmosphere, blue light gets scattered in all directions. This is because the blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher frequency making it more susceptible to scattering than other colors. This means that when we look up at the sky, we see more of the scattered blue light, which gives the sky its blue appearance. On the other hand, the other colors of light, like red and yellow, get scattered less and pass through the atmosphere more easily, making them less visible. The discovery that blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher frequency can be traced back to the development of the electromagnetic theory in the 19th century. The electromagnetic theory, first proposed by James Clerk Maxwell, explains that light is a type of electromagnetic wave that travels through space at a constant speed. In the late 19th century, scientists started using spectroscopes to study the different colors of light. A spectroscope works by splitting light into its individual colors, creating a spectrum. By analyzing the spectrum, scientists were able to measure the wavelengths and frequencies of different colors of light. It was through these experiments that scientists discovered that blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher frequency compared to other colors like red and yellow. This information was crucial for understanding the behavior of light and how it interacts with different substances. The discovery that blue light has a shorter wavelength and higher frequency was a result of this development of the electromagnetic theory and the use of spectroscopes to study the different colors of light. This knowledge helped scientists understand the behavior of light and its interactions with different substances. So, there you have it. The blue color of the sky is due to the phenomenon of Rayleigh scattering, which occurs when the sun's light encounters tiny particles in the atmosphere. This scattering causes blue light to be more visible, giving the sky its stunning blue appearance. The perception of beauty is subjective and varies between individuals and cultures. However, there are several reasons why blue is considered a beautiful color by many people. Blue is rare and striking color in nature and is often associated with the sky and water, which are both common and peaceful environments. This association with natural beauty can contribute to the perception of blue as a beautiful color. Blue is a cool and soothing color that can evoke feelings of calmness, tranquility, and stability. This can make it appealing in certain settings, such as bedrooms and bathrooms, where people want to create a peaceful and relaxing environment. If you found any of this information useful, or would like to see more videos like this, please like, subscribe, or share, or comment below. Thanks for watching. If you have more questions or the live feel free and ask why in the comments.